Hey YouTube brothers and sisters, I just uh, had to come on here and do a video. I know I haven't uh, done many videos lately. I've just kind of been watching to see what's going on. And uh, basically, it just seems like the bulk of the church is asleep, sitting around waiting on the rapture, rapture, rapture. And, uh, but I wanted to cover something with you. I wanted to issue a stern warning uh, against this guy by the, that goes by the name of Rap the News. He's had many channels deleted and he just keeps coming back and making more and more and more. And he's getting more and more racist as the, every single day goes on. And, um, you know, he, he just, he did a video here not long ago and he's saying that, uh, you know, the Apostle Paul and Christians uh, have, have grafted uh, their gods into the Bible. And um, I just responded and I said, again, the goal is to become one in Christ, stop with the racist bias and grow up. And then I quoted uh, Galatians uh, 3, 26, 29, uh, King James Version, for ye are all the children of God by faith in Jesus Christ, for as many of you as have been baptized in Christ have put on Christ. There's neither Jew nor Greek. There's neither bond nor free. There's neither male nor female. For ye are all one in Jesus Christ, or excuse me, Christ Jesus. And if ye be Christ, then ye are Abraham's seed and heirs according to the promise. And he writes back and he says, Unfortunately, your race is not human at all. Can you believe that? The white race is not human at all, according to this guy. He says, you are the serpent seed, and there's no way of escaping who you are. You are wrong, and we are very different than you. Uh, your job is to destroy. By the way, good job. So I just did a quick reply. Uh, this is going to be a short video, but I just did a quick reply. I wanted to get you guys tuned in, dialed in. Um, I said, wrap the news. Wrap, with all due respect, you have totally lost your mind. You bash your brothers as we were all made from one blood, as is written. You think you have salvation in keeping the law, which no man can keep 100%, though indeed we should try. Scripture says the law never saved anyone, and that we are saved by grace. But you cherry-pick verses and throw out any scripture and our prophet, disciple, that doesn't fit into your racist agenda. I pray that you wake up before it's too late for you, as you have no idea what you're talking about. I'm sorry, but that's just the facts. One can't even have a decent exchange with you because you simply will not recognize major parts of the written word. It's hopeless, sort of a miracle at this point to even try to reason together. I fear for your soul as it's full of nothing but racism and hate. Do you really think God will let you, as you currently are, into his kingdom? Get a clue. Revelation 7, 9 through 10, King, King James Version. After this I beheld and lo, a great multitude, which no man could number, all of the nations and kindreds and people and tongues stood before the throne and before the Lamb clothed in white robes with palms in their hands and cried out with a loud voice saying salvation to our God who sitteth upon the throne and to the Lamb." End of quote. And now go ahead and be a loud mouth coward that you know you are and remove this comment and or block me like you usually do. You are something else and as you are only promoting the devil's agenda, do you really think no one notices when you bash Apostle Paul and then turn around and quote him to try to make one of your biblically twisted points. It would be hilarious if it wasn't so serious. And with that, you know, this rapid news guy, he's not the only guy that twists the scripture. You got Jonathan Clack out there, says we're all serpent seed. He says he's a fallen angel. He's got like 113,000 subscribers now, and they just send this guy money left and right. And, uh, you know, the, the true people out there, they're you know, standing up against these false teachers, they get little to no support at all because everybody wants to sit around and, you know, sing kumbaya and wait on the rapture. Uh, what happened to contending to, to the faith? What, what happened to contending for the faith? 
What happened to marking these false teachers? What having happened to exposing these people and calling out these crooked politicians and and you know making your voice heard? I mean, I, I cannot for the life of me understand what's going on with the church today. I'm so disgusted. I just want to scream. And uh, you know, I, but people won't even listen to that anymore. But um, man, I could do some fire and brimstone sermons and wake people up if they wouldn't turn me off. I, mean, I can prove everything I'm saying. But I'm telling you, 90% of you guys in, in the so-called Christian church that call yourself believers, I don't think you're going to make it. I don't think you're going to make it because Christ says if you won't stand up and defend him, he's not going to defend you. So with that, hey, uh, this is a quick little short warning. I wish you guys the best. And um, I'm begging, I'm begging, you know, the hour's late, and I'm begging you to do everything that you can do to, uh, you know, wake as many people up as you can, okay? With that, take care. God bless you.